Welcome to our 1350s recap. So we kicked off 1350 like we do every 10 years with new family pictures. We went through the 1300s all the way to our pictures, our new pictures in 1350. Talked about where all the people are in 1350, including the ones that are not living in England with the main family. And we kick off 1350 with Jewel becoming an adult and failing her role and dying. None of that ended up on video, sadly. <laughs> so we kicked the video off. Kazia and Kellen both became toddlers this year and rolled really well, as well as Isla rolled to become an adult and rolled really well. Michael also became an adult and Blanche became an elder. The last thing that happened this year is that Denise got married. Blanche died just because when she rolled to become an elder, she only rolled for one more year. So Blanche died, leaving her three children alone in France. So Mary, her oldest child, stayed in France and Adrian and Garance moved back to England to live with their cousin Gwendolyn in their Aunt Mary's house. And on the way, Garantz aged up to a child and she rolled really well. We also had baby Gwendolyn born and she lived. We ended this year with Isla and Michael getting married. We left it up to chance. I rolled a dice to see if they would get married to each other and it was a 50-50 chance, a coin toss, and they got married. Then we move into 1352. Not a lot happened at the beginning of this year. We still are trying to make up for all the devastation from the plague. But Ingrid becomes a child and she rolled really well. The last thing that we did to end this year is that Christopher became an elder and he's going to be with us for eight more years. Then we move to 1353. Gwendolyn, baby Gwendolyn, becomes a toddler. We also had our first set of twins from Isla and Michael, Hugh and Helen, and Hugh lived and Helen died. Denise and Sebastian had Lawrence, baby Lawrence, and he lived. Then Francine's dad, Stein, or Penelope's husband, Stein, rolled to become an adult and he died. So then we moved Francine in with Gwendolyn and Christopher just because she was a child and she needed a house. Then we had Kazia and Kellen age up to toddlers and unfortunately Kazia died, but we still had Kellen, our heir, alive. And Flora became a teenager and rolled really well as well. In 1354, we started out with Mary becoming a teenager over in France. We also had Hugh become a toddler in our main household, and he rolled well. And another set of twins was born to Isla and Michael, Meriwether and Maleficent, and Meriwether died. We also had Flora's wedding, as well as Lawrence becoming a toddler and living, and Gwendolyn becoming an elder and dying. We move into 1355 with Mary over in France getting married and baby Nicholas being born. We also celebrated All Souls Day as Francine became a teenager. We had Sebastian become a young adult and everybody rolled really well. We had our next set of twins at the main Miller house with Organa and Oliver, and Oliver rolled well and Organa did not. We had Adrian, Frey's son, the only Clark boy, left, age up to be a teenager, and he rolled really well. And then Flora had her first baby, baby Jewel, was born, and she rolled really well. So, 1356 then has Maleficent becoming a toddler. She rolled really well. We also had Francine get married and over in France, baby Alonzo was born and he died. We had Nicholas becoming a toddler and rolling well. Gwendolyn became a child and rolled well. It was a good day at their house. And Denise also became a young adult and rolled well. So, everybody at their house had good rolls. 
we ended out the year with baby Pippa being born and also rolling well. We kicked off 1357 with Adrian going off to war. We did our war rolls for all of our eligible guys and Adrian was the only one that had to go to war. We had Oliver and Jewel both becoming toddlers, and Oliver lived and Jewel did not. We also had baby Stein born and Lucas on the same day, not in the same house, but baby Stein died and baby Lucas lived. The last thing that happened this year and one of the highlights of 1357 was that Bella got married in 1358. We immediately had Hugh aging up to be a child, and he died. But we had baby Frey born over in France, and he lived. We also had Pippa becoming a toddler, and she lived. Lawrence was becoming a child, and he died. We said that Hugh and Lawrence, since they were both the same age and cousins, that they both went out and got lost in the woods and froze to death. Anyway, it was sad. Gold, however, became a teenager and rolled well, really well, so that was good. We also had our next set of twins for Isla and Michael were born, and it was baby Quintina and Quentin, and they both lived. We also had a new baby at the Hammond house, baby Rose, and she lived. And then Garance aged up to a teenager, and she lived. We ended the year with a few births. We had Arthur born to the Price family, and he died. And then we had Christopher born to the Archer family, and he lived. 1359 was definitely a year of ups and downs at the end of this decade. We kicked off the year with Lucas becoming a toddler, and he lived. Then we had Flora giving birth to twins, Simon and Solomon, and they both lived. We couldn't age Isla up to an elder because she was pregnant, but we did roll for her, and she has three years left with us. Maleficent became a child, and Michael became an elder. They all rolled really really well, and we have two years left with Michael. We ended the year with some good news and some not-so-good news. So first, Ingrid became a teenager. Second... Isla gave birth to the last set of twins that she's going to have before she becomes an elder, and that was Edmund and Elijah, and they both rolled well. Then we went to visit Flora's house for Lucas to become a young adult, and he died, leaving Flora with a toddler and a set of newborn twins. So as we move into 1360, we've got to figure out a few things. We've got some stuff to decide. And if you are following along with us in real time and you're going to pick up in 1360, I do have some questions for you guys in that video. I have some things I want to know from you guys. And so I am really looking forward to hearing everything that you have to say about it. I would like to know what you thought about everything that happened and where you think we need to go into the future. I'm just envisioning that we have a little over 600 years left and I am open to any and all ideas that you guys have about potential storylines or anything else that we could add in to just make this even more interesting as we follow this family and their extended generations through the years. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the 1360s. Bye.